Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are in the streets of Banjul. Um, so this is what's this place called? Bas? This is uh, July Square. This is the 22nd July Square. As you can see, used to be very busy. Um, some celebrations used to be done here. I believe Independence used to be celebrated here, right? Yeah. And what other kind of events? I think oh, is that the only event that's celebrated. Yeah. Yeah, other events also are hosted here. Kids also come here to play, as you can see, there's a playground up ahead. Um, this area is usually very busy, uh, you know, because going ahead, that's where you'll have the RVTH um, hospital. Okay, and the direction I'm coming from will take you uh, towards the Banjo market. So, this is the capital of the Gambia. Um, it's also, you could say, a business business center, you could say. And there you have all the taxis parked. Yeah. So, Banyul is well known for business. So many people come here for business because um, most of the materials here are, ex are sorry, are cheap compared to, compared to other places. Uh, but also around this time, right now it is uh, close to 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. So around this time, uh, you will see so many people trying to get a vehicle. It's sometimes very challenging when you're here from afternoon going towards the evening. When you're here trying to get a vehicle, it's a bit challenging. So sometimes some people will not even mind not using um, this commercial vehicle, but will, will ask for a lift uh, because it's really, really challenging to to get a vehicle from here, especially when people close for walk. Um, so yeah, this is it and this quadrangle. Uh, this is where you have in the Ministry of Finance, Accountant General Department, other departments as well. Uh, Over there you have the cathedral hall. Oh, and yet, right here towards the left you have a, a petrol station called Speed. So as you can see already there is traffic building up. Uh, it's, it's like uh, maybe an hour and a half away from closing time to close from work so you sometimes you would see that even let's say around 3 45 some people will already start heading home uh, because they know if they should wait up to four one it will be very difficult to get a vehicle uh, two there is also lots of traffic so um, so many people come to Banjul for work but do not live here yeah, and that's why usually uh, after work, of course, there are people around, but you would realize that there is less activity uh, during the evening compared to the daytime because so many people just come here for work and afterwards they just head home. Uh, there's usually lots of traffic you know, around this area. So I'd like to show you one of the places where you can get your street food. Um, it's very nice, we're going there to get some food. I might not show where the lady is selling, some are not that much comfortable being on camera. But I'll just show you the place. So uh, if you've been in the Gambia, if you've been to Banjul, I'm not sure if you heard of uh, the Bacau garage in Banjul. So just at the Bacau garage there, that's where you have uh, some of those stalls, uh, those ladies, you know, selling lunch and their food is really, really, really nice. So whenever we come to Bajul and it's uh, during the afternoon, we just make sure we get some lunch from them before we head home. Uh, and when once you come here, just try it. Believe me, you will love it. They have different dishes, different Gambian dishes that are all delicious 
which you would love. Here and there's a hospital over there. And over there you also now we have a new petrol station called Star. You can see there up ahead. Uh, Star used to be called Petrol Gas, but then the name was later changed. Before petrol gas, I think it's the one that was initially called Shell. From Shell uh, to I can recall what name it changed from Shell later to petrol gas, and now it is Star. So in Banjul, also remember we have left the market behind, uh, but you will see lots of vendors. Like you can see here, they are selling shoes, and up ahead there, those ladies are the ones that sell the food. So. If you want to have some very nice food, just come here uh, during the day from let's say 1.30 towards 2 o'clock going up. So that's it um, over there. Okay? Those are the ladies that sell lunch here. And you would see that just after 2 o'clock, so many people will come trying to get food. It was really, really nice. So this banjul, I don't really know the streets that much. Uh, that's why I can't comment on what street is what but um, if you're watching this video and you know some of these streets just leave a comment in the comment section let us know where we are at at the moment or some of the places that we've passed some of the places that you have seen some of the places that we still remember probably also recommend maybe what you would want us to show uh, in Banjul so that's the petrol station I was talking about okay. So just to show you again, that's the garage, you can see some taxis parked over there. So over, over there at the other end, um, that stall, that's where you have the ladies that sell food. Okay. So uh, continuing on, taking this way, will take you towards um, the arch. Oh, and in there also they have a car wash. Yeah, uh, uh, any of the petrol stations that you go to, you'll have a car wash. So using this way to continue on, uh, it will take you all the way up to um, up to the arch. And if you continue on, then you will leave Banjo to go towards uh, Westfield. So you also have schools here. Um, many schools, in fact, you also have the nursing school. So you will see lots of students, you know, standing by the route, especially. Um, just after two when they close from school and some trying to get a lift some trying to uh, pay for a taxi to get home so yeah uh, i'm not sure if you can see but up ahead right at the middle that's the arch um you can use this way okay that's on you can use this way go all the way straight go towards the left and that will take you to the other um, entrance of the RBTH hospital and there right there is the other entrance of the hospital as well so yeah this is it this is what we wanted to show you today um, thank you guys very much for watching